I found this plate at Target this summer or this fall. It's the giving plate where you put something on the plate, give it to somebody, then they make something and pass it on to the next person. One of you had mentioned wanting to see some more recipes of healthy and unhealthy sweet tooth dishes. And I was thinking that would be something I could vlog about, show some recipes, and thought I might get to today, but I don't think I will today. I'll leave that for another day. I still have some squash soup left from the other day, so I think I'm gonna have those leftovers. I decided to include these videos of uh, making the soup earlier in the week. This is the first time I'd ever made butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash soup. I've had it at Panera and coffee shops. So I decided to try making it um, myself. And I started out with a pretty basic recipe. Um, and then, then when I tasted it, it just felt a little bland. So I found another re recipe online that took like curry powder and some things like that. And I kind of combined the two recipes and and it did turn out pretty good if I do say so myself. Once I had the curry powder in, it was just so much more flavorful and tasted a little bit more like the soups, uh, butternut squash soups I've had before. Mohican State Park is about a 35 minute drive from my house and every time I go I wonder why I don't go more often. They have beautiful trails to walk on. One of the things I love about Mohican State Park is it's one of the few places in Ohio that has the hemlock trees and I don't know why I just have this thing for hemlock trees. I think it reminds me of the Bill Peet books or something. In the park or near the park um, there's this Landles castle and you can go there there's a restaurant you can eat at and you can stay there for a couple hundred dollars a night I think you probably pay about fifty dollars a dinner or so but we did see on the menu online that you can get breakfast there for much cheaper I would love to come back here sometime just to eat breakfast if nothing else My housemate and I just got back from a little drive. It was good to get out, get some fresh air, see some beautiful scenery, and don't have much planned for this evening. It feels like it was kind of an uneventful day again. That's why I decided to include the squash soup recipe from last week so that you have a little bit something more <laughs> to view. Y'all have been so kind with your comments. I really appreciate it. It's been fun to just be in touch with you all more and maybe there'll be some interesting things ahead. asking me about this get uh, get your life back book 
I haven't actually read the book, but I think just with what I have learned and experienced this week, I think I'm gonna to wanna to get the book. So the book is Get Your Life Back, Everyday Practices for a World Gone Mad by John Eldridge. And he talks about how um, just life being busy and a lot about what technology has done to our souls, whether it's cell phones or social media, everybody expects you to be available 24 seven and how long ago, if you wanted to enter someone's world, you would drive and go to your grandma's house and sit on the porch and enter their world that way. And now we can be entering people's worlds and their private spaces um, at any time and how there aren't a lot of social boundaries anymore. The memory card got full. So as I was downloading that, I was just thinking, I think what it is is not so much that we can totally get away from everything. Probably nobody's gonna go back to, you know, not having a cell phone. But it's more, I think what this book is, is calling us to, and they use the verse a lot where Jesus said, um, you know, get away from everything, come to me and rest, and he even did that. I think it's more about taking those times to restore our souls with time with Jesus, um, going for a walk or um, making dinner and enjoying it. Whatever we need to do to um, just get away from it all. Mm -hmm.